Welcome back to 5410 Africa, the channel that helps you travel Africa. I'm Nick from Namibia and in this video I'll show you Kaurum National Park, the wildest park in Namibia. Good morning, we are traveling to the Kaurum National Park. I'm saying we because uh, I'm joined by the Petit family from Germany. Remember the Kaurum officially has a minimum of two vehicles and it's only about 50 kilometers from here. I have no idea what to expect. I could find little or no up-to-date information. I guess that makes it a bit more adventurous and also the reason for this video. Stop, stop, stop the video. Before we carry on, I need to give you the information you came for. Let's be honest with one another. I'm not exceptionally attractive, nor entertaining. And the reason you watch my videos is for information. The main attraction of this park is its wild nature, its remoteness, as well as the opportunity to see massive herds of elephant, wild dogs, lion and leopard, as well as many other game species. Kaurum can be entered from two gates. The northern gate, which is situated about 60 kilometers south of the B8 road that runs between Rundu and Divundu. And then there's the southern gate, which is 50 kilometers north of Chumque. Park fees are paid upon arrival at the gate in cash because there's no credit card facilities. I'll put the park fees on the screen somewhere. This is a second tier park and therefore park fees will be slightly cheaper, but don't worry, nothing about this place is second tier. It is exceptional. Also note that camps are operated privately and therefore you pay separately. Yes, you will need a four x four and officially a minimum of two vehicles are required for entry. As advertised, you'll face some extremely challenging road conditions with tracks often blocked by trees. We face three of those situations. Bring your own fuel, food and water. There is no fuel in the park and remember to bring extra as you'll spend most of your time in 4x4. Outside the park in the north, fuel is available at Rundu, Divundu and Katima Malilu and in the south at Chumque and Grootfontein. There are two camps in the park, Sekreti in the south, which is currently being rebuilt, and Kaurum in the north. The easiest route is a straight line of about 80 kilometers between them. The network of roads connects several water holes, which have wonderful heights for viewing. We opted for the eastern track between Torakari and Liupan, where we saw most of our game, including a massive herd of about 50 elephant at the Torakari water hole, including little baby ones. <laughs> we did see more game, but they were extremely skittish, skittish, skittish. They were extremely skittish and <laughs> difficult to photograph. This should be your first stop on your way to the Kaurum National Park. This is the Dorsland Bawabab. It used to be the unofficial post office of the trackers of the time. There's a sneaky turn of about 30 kilometers outside of Chumque. Alternatively, you can wild camp here. People do it. Or you can camp at the Elephant Sands at the Living Museum. Kaurum National Park Southern Gate and I'll start sharing some information. It's about 40-50 kilometers on a decent gravel road. Park fees are paid at the gate on arrival. Cash only, no credit cards. Remember you'll pay park fees per person per day, conservation fee per person per day as well as per vehicle per day. Fees are tiered, Namibians pay the least. Then it's SIDEC, international tourists pay the most. I paid 80 Namibian dollars per day plus 50 for the car. How much did you guys pay? 200 for the two of them plus 50 for their vehicle. We don't really have a plan. We know we're going to camp at Kaurum tonight and the rest will just make up along the way. Okay, apparently we have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are proceeding from the entrance gate to Sonkana and from there we go up to Dusi and Tarikora and it's either this way we or the take, other way. And we take, what did you say, the eastern route? That, we that take one. the eastern route, the elephants are more on the oh, eastern side. Oh, you say so, okay. Yeah, and this road may, may be blocked because of so much trees and bushes are oh. in the way. Okay. So we could try that if we are, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's worth doing. So we're going to 
No, no, oh, we're going to go way. straight. Oh, go okay, straight. to Ducey. Okay. To Ducey, and from there we go here, we can decide either Good, uh, which, oh, okay. way or we go even around Oh, here. nice. All roads are fine. Look ahead, somewhere down the line, where it's unsaid, will they We're at Doozy Waterhole with an elephant slowly approaching. We entered the Kaurum National Park through the southern gate this morning, slowly making our way up. Just stopped at the Omarumba Waterhole, which was a bit disappointing. Initially, the road was pretty good, slowly, slowly getting worse. From here, we go to Tarikora, Luipan, Taupan, and then we'll sleep at Kaurum. Days without water and long the sun so grown. We cross over border. This is Tarikari Hide, or water hole, that's the water hole on that side. And since leaving Duzi, we've just been finding lots more animals. There's a massive herd of, wow, massive. There are 8 to 10 elephants on the other side. And yeah, things are picking up. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Awesome. And when we're done, we put it back. Yeah, it's fine. How does it look? I don't know why they going through the water if it's so clean this side yeah. Because we arrived after dark, I couldn't shoot the video at this time, so I'm doing it the next day. The Germans already left, they only have a few days left in Namibia, so it wasn't worth it for them to stay another night. For me, absolutely it was. Reception is pretty basic. You fill in the registration books, pay cash, there's no credit card facilities. They do sell wood for 30 Namibian dollars a bag, and that's pretty much it. Remember, the camps are operated privately, so you pay separately. 
I'll put all the booking information in the description below. And then there's the camps, which are stunningly beautiful with... Ah, you can't see it! <laughs> with amazing views of the plains below. Ample shade, more shade. That's my tent, yes, that's my laundry. <laughs> my clothes don't wash themselves. Place to make fire, a bin, and then your own little private bathroom, including a hot shower. You use a little uh, water boiler, make a fire underneath, and it heats up your water. Basins with clean water as well as a flush toilet. The best thing about this camp, it doesn't have a fence around. Nothing to separate you from the wild animals. And should you run into trouble, very good MTC cell phone signal to phone a friend to come and help you. Time to leave an amazing three nights stay in the Kaurum camp. I'm so glad to get this off my bucket list. And if you haven't been, you definitely should add it to yours as well. All that's left is to go to the Northgate exit and find our way to the BA tar road. and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday We're out the Northern Gate. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully I gave you enough information so that you can come and do current confidently. To end this video, while it's not the end, we still need to get to the tar road. I wanted to give you a few tips. One, deflate your tires as soon as you hit the sand. Don't be like me. The camp's only 20 kilometers away. I can make it. I ended up stopping. I ended up stopping anyway to deflate. I went down to 1.5. The Germans went down to 1.2. Two, bring enough fuel. Remember, you're going to spend most of your time in 4x4. Three, bring enough cash. There's no credit card facilities at either the gate or the camp. Four, bring a seed net. Use it and make sure you put it on properly. Five, if, you, if you've got a new vehicle and you're worried about scratches, don't bother coming to Cardum. You will end up getting bush tattoos. And then a final tip, once you're out the gate, you turn immediately right. That is the road that will take you to the P8. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. From the gate, it's probably another 45 kilometers of heavy sand driving. This is probably the worst section out of everything. And then you end up at the tar road. That should go to Divundu and that should go to Rundu. If you're wondering from this side if you've got the correct turn off, there's a small little sign that says Kaudum. I think it says 46 kilometers. And that's about it. If you've watched this far, then I'm going to answer one question for you. Is Kaudum worse than Botswana? No, it's not. The reason I say this is because Botswana is relentless. It just carries on and on and on. While Kaudum is bad stretch, good stretch, bad stretch, good stretch, it sort of gives you a break in between. All that remains for me to do is to reinflate my tires. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please consider joining my Patreon for only five years dollars per month. From just outside the Kaudum National Park, as always, I'm Nick from Namibia, and you be watching 54 in Africa. Uh.